24 hours, 20 feet in the air, in a tiny hidden space in my living room. So if you guys didn't see the video, Matt and I found an abandoned safe and led us through different clues and it ended up up here where we found your giveaway prizes. And I've done 24 hours in a bounce house, in a ball pit. This is gonna be fun. On my roof. Help, rescue us. And so I thought, you know what? I might as well do 24 hours up here. I mean, why not? So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of things in the next 24 hours, but first, let's see how I plan for this crazy 24 hour challenge. Okay, so to get ready for spending 24 hours way up there, I made a list of a ton of different things. I have snacks and waters. I have blankets. I have a sheet because it's dusty up there, so I'm gonna put this under. It's technically not a sheet, it's a tablecloth. I got this bag for some clothes, toiletries, you know, stuff that you need for 24 hours. Also, you guys have sent me fan mail, so I'm gonna do some unboxing up there. Blackjack, what do you think? Don't worry, you're not gonna go up there, mom is. Also, I have this rope. We are trying to figure out how I'm gonna get all this stuff up there. We are gonna use this basket. So I have blankets in here now, and then I'll put the blankets out. And then we're gonna try to like rig it and put the rope around and then I'm gonna pull the basket up so that I can get this stuff. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. I've got my laptop, I've got my phone, I have a charger in my bag. I think I'm all good and ready to go, but I guess if I need anything else, Matt can just throw it to me, right Matt? <laughs> Matt! All right, let's do this. So I am about to go up 20 feet in the air and spend the next 24 hours. This is so scary. Do not try this at home. Oh my, it's shaking. Oh. Pretty high up. I'm scared of heights. So this is gonna be pretty fun. You okay oh, up there? I'm okay. I'm gonna be in the inside because this is scary. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Okay. This is it gonna work? Okay. Go ahead. That was stressful. I need more things now. What do you want next? Snacks. Oh my gosh. This is so much easier than the last time. <laughs> so right now I am up on here. Like it's so high. Here I am. Down below. I'm making my bed as close to the corner as possible. Just because I'm scared. I think I need some pillows. Hey Matt, can you toss me some pillows? Matt! Hey, yo. Gotta throw it. Hard. Yes. I mean I need it to be cozy. I just realized though we had to decorate up here. So I have a twilight poster and I'm gonna hang that. Throw it! Ugh. Here we go. Let's do this. So now that I'm all set up and decorated, I thought the next thing that I would do is to play a game with some mystery boxes. Now, I have different boxes all over, and I have a bunch of balls, and I'm gonna try to throw as many balls into the boxes as possible in one minute. But first, I have to get the balls. Tell me when. You good? Can you be there just in case? So while I eat my salad, I want you guys to comment what your favorite lunch food is. Is it a turkey sandwich? Is it peanut butter and jelly? So I finished lunch. I'm still having these snacks. I have to go to the bathroom now. I can only go down when I have to use the bathroom. You don't really want to go down very much. It's kind of scary. This makes me not want to go to the bathroom at all. The dogs don't you see? 12 seconds later. 
So I've gotten a lot of mail from you guys, which is so amazing, and you guys always send me slime, and I have a ton of boxes that you guys sent me, and I thought I would open some of them up right now because, you know, it's 24 hours up here in this tiny space, and there's not much else I can do. This one, Vanessa Bell, aww. Vanessa sent confetti lemon cake batter slime. Let me see this. Ooh, so thank you so much, Vanessa. This next one is from Madeline. She drew something. Oh, she drew a picture. I'm gonna put it right here, and then I'm gonna tape it up very soon, Madeline. And it looks like there's some perfume. Fluffy putty, you know what? I'm gonna stick the fluffy putty into the slime. This looks like glow in the dark, actually. I mean, what? This next one, oh, this is from Prachi and Tomvi, ages 11, and Cosmo, her puppy. Oh my gosh, this is packed so neatly. This is love potion slime. I really love all the slime you guys send me. It's got beads in it. We have ocean breeze. Oh no, making a mess. Ooh, it kind of feels like fluffy slime a little bit. Hanging out in my tiny secret space for this 24 hour challenge. This one is specifically requesting to be opened up on a video. So, let's see who this is from. This is from Lily. Oh, she's from Missouri. Ooh, okay, so she sent me some crystals and slime. This is pink fairy dust slime. Gosh, these are such pretty crystals. All right, here is the fairy dust slime. And final one that I'm gonna be opening is from Addison. This is pink butter cloud slime. Karina would be shaking right now. This is such good cloud slime. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one I was about to mix but then there's a note, it says, don't mix to other slimes, no matter what Matt says. So no I No matter can't, what I say? Yeah, so okay, this is, mix it. I'm not mixing you it. You need to mix it. I'm not mixing it. This is really good cloud slime also, so I'm gonna that set this. That would look this. so good with all the other ones. No, Matt. And the final one that she sent me is called Liquid Diamonds, and while I'm pouring this in, I want you guys to comment what your favorite type of slime is to make. Okay, this one is very sticky. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You guys sent me a ton more packages, but I'm gonna open the rest of the slime up on my IGTV. So if you want to watch that video, make sure to follow my Instagram, at Rebecca Zamolo, and watch my IGTV. Let me know if you want more slime videos. We gotta mix this so we can get back to this 24 hour challenge. What color are you guys thinking this is gonna be? It's kinda turning blue to me, I don't know. But thanks to all of you guys again for sending me this in, and we gotta get back to this 24 hour challenge. So I thought it would be really fun to FaceTime some of you guys while I'm up here. So I just let people know that I opened up my Snapchat so that they could call me. It's literally going crazy right now, so I'm just gonna hopefully. Oh my God. Hi. I just wanna give you like a hug. Aw. <laughs> Virtual hug right now. <laughs> oh, hi. Well, you are on, I'm recording like right here. So say hi. Hi to the video. <laughs> What's your name? Michaela, hi! Thank you so much for calling. Hi, Matt. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Don't try this at home. Thanks for calling, bye! Rebecca, as you saw earlier, like pranked me by throwing a ton of balls on me. So I thought I would repay the favor. She's not gonna see this coming. What are you doing? Oh, no. I need that. The ladder just needed to be fixed a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, Beck, you pranked me. Now I'm pranking you. What if something happens? What if I have to go to the bathroom? Easy. Matt! Not cool at all. Matt, no! Matt, come on. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> he just moved the ladder. I have nowhere to go and I'm stuck up here. And if anything happens, I can't move. But seriously. Becca, take you know, lemons. Please let me have the ladder for safety. Becca, just take some lemons and make lemonade. All right, so if this video gets 50,000 thumbs up in less than two minutes, I'll let Rebecca down. Matt! There's no way to tell. I was going to wake up at 3 a.m. I need you to film it, so you need the ladder to film it. I could honestly probably just climb up on that side and climb from there. No. Yes! Thank you! Thank you, Matt! Six and a half hours later. I put this up and I didn't even realize when she made it, look what she put at the bottom. Not perfect is perfect. So I love it even more. So I thought I would put some lights up here to make it a little bit more festive. So here we go, you guys. This is 24 hour challenge goals right here. It's a party up here. So hanging out, I set up a few more decorations, a picture of Matt and I and my plant. I kind of like it at night more. 
we have never seen if there are ghosts up here. So when the medium came, she was down there, literally right where the ladder is, but we never came up here. But I think that I'm gonna wake up at 3 a.m. I spy food. Hey! Quick update, I put out polls on Instagram, so I'm gonna be finding out what you guys want me to do at 3 a.m. I also had you guys comment some suggestions on my latest Instagram picture, so we're gonna get some ideas. I got some food. I love these noodles, especially when your throat's sore. You guys know I did a do not push the wrong mystery box into the water challenge and it seemed to do really well. You guys really liked it. But someone else who also liked it was Faze Rug and he basically did the same challenge. He kind of used my idea and did a video which I was totally cool with but he used even ice water to make it even colder. So thank you Faze Rug for shouting me out. That was really cool. And if you guys want me to do a collab video with him because he does really cool stuff. I've been a fan of his stuff and honestly my little cousin Connor is a huge fan of him. Him. Comment in the comment section below. Quick update on the Instagram polls. I asked you guys if I should wake up at 3 a.m. 79% of you so far have said yes. And 57% of you guys want me to talk to ghosts versus just watching a scary movie. It is about that time where I am going to go to bed. I obviously changed up here into this onesie. And then I'm gonna wake up at 3 a.m. and I put out polls. So I'm gonna check them to see if anything changed. It's not that bad up here. It really isn't. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously wake up at 3 a.m., but you guys wanted me to talk to ghosts, so I have never actually talked to ghosts up here. What's weirding me out is this thing just keeps moving. Like, trouble? No. That's the first word, it's trouble. So right now, the two words, there's like two that just showed up, now there's one, like, this is so creepy. I want to finish the challenge. I am going to stop. I could keep going with this, but I told you guys I was silly. Maybe it's a silly ghost. But I told you guys I was going to do a break from ghost videos, so I don't want to make this a ghost video. This is a 24-hour challenge. I fulfilled what you guys asked me to do on the Instagram polls, and now I'm going to go back to bed. Want to stay up here with me, Matt? I, I got to go. <laughs> Becca, time to wake up. The sun's out. Yeah, time to get up. We got hot. I like barely used the blanket. Hey, the lights made it. Hey. Did it. You guys, this is a very tiny space. I just can't believe that I've been 20 feet up in the air for 24 hours. I'm gonna be so excited to like touch the ground. All right. I did it! And that concludes me doing the 24 hour challenge, 20 feet in the air, in a tiny little place in my living room. I had actually a lot of fun on this challenge. I would say my favorite thing was FaceTiming you guys, and then also the mystery box game that we played down here with the balls from my ball pit. The not so fun parts were definitely climbing down this ladder. Oh my god and trying to get up all of the stuff with the basket that we had to rig. It was a lot harder than it looked. This isn't gonna work. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite part of this video was, and also comment below what 24 hour challenge you want me to do next. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna do it, cause I do it for my Zam fam. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like 24 hour challenges and overnight challenges. Love you Zam fam, and I'll see you next time, mwah!